her own and they're not going to give us the all stars. I'm just going to go ahead and ask the question to each of you girls. Is that still <laughs> uh -huh. Is that still kid, Mr. Carrier? <laughs> From season 11? I got some new merch silk. Season 11 silk. <laughs> it's the silky pot scrubber. <laughs> Not a silky pot scrubber. <laughs> My boss don't need that much scrubber. <laughs> okay. Why has got, got to be a black girl to scrub the pot? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, because it wasn't going to be me, bitch. Do I look like I do manual labor? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you do. You like you drive a truck or two. Okay. Oh, fuck you. What questions were you going to ask, um, Silky? Is there anything y'all want to clear the air on? What the girls that's on the room, the live <laughs> right now? Girl. Nobody in this room, because I like everybody in this room. Girl. Y'all are messed. The uh, people in y'all's comments are messed. They talk about that scrubber look like Trinity. Huh? Damn. <laughs> Wait, Roger, what did you say? I said the people in the comments said the scrubber look like Trinity. Damn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, they said, Raja, can you explain your the brown suede boots from the last episode? Well, um, they were gray. Is it brown? You guys are absolutely colorblind because my boots were gray. <laughs> um, and for Michelle Fassage, she is also losing her vision because if she couldn't see that they were not mint colored, they were also gray. Um, she said mint, right? And with my team, my team chose a color scheme of pink and purple. The purple girls wore purple and gray, and the girls that had on pink wore pink and black. So it was cute though. I like I liked your y'all color scheme. It was cute and that hair, Raja. I felt like you should have been the winner that week last week. You know, I do too. Some all, and I guess my shoes was too distracting. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know because I think I like so your. I will say this, both you and Trinity had really good, like, inspirational lyrics. Mm -hmm. And your performance was both, like, really strong. But I think what set um, Trinity on top was because Trinity ended up doing the choreography when it should have been you. But that's when she should have been at the bottom because everybody didn't catch on to the choreography, so you should change the choreography. Girl, she can't be, you can't be bland if somebody's Caucasian and then got rhythm, bitch. That's not her fault. <laughs> But it's a team. Yeah, team. you can't. Feel okay, you can't blame somebody for not having like you can't fault them because their team has like Caucasians in it that can't got no rhythm. It's a team challenge. Oh girl, you are just such an ass. Oh my god, <laughs> whatever. Ginger Man should have won again for her group. Who? Ginger Man. They should have said top. No, of because group. Ginger's outfits weren't that good. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, you know. Child, that but that ain't fun. never stopped nobody from crying and going with uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, I will say this: like the outfit wise, to me, the best outfit was Raja's. Raja's tropical to me was like the cutest one. She was giving me very Rihanna, rude boy. I was like, oh, I got the reference. She was giving you rude boy. I was like, yes, Mr. Fucking. I was like, okay. Let me block somebody. But I like that everybody had something different for tropical. Uh -huh. Let me see. What would you have worn, Silky? Let me see. Hold on. I'm I'm blocking somebody. Girl, Miss Jiggly, everybody did uh, J-Lo, so girl was going to be a nice Yeah, but nobody had the fabric but me. You know one thing, what y'all... Because even Yara was like, Yara kept asking me where I bought the fabric. Yara was like, where did you buy this fabric? I'm like, it's none your business, ho. None your business. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. One thing, I will have peace. And ain't now I'm going to tell me that I'm... At, I'm I'm um, bitter for being eliminated. Bitter? Bitch, everybody. Bitch, yeah. if you're not bitter because you got eliminated, you are fucking... Like, there's something wrong with you. No. <laughs> and, and we all lost $100,000. Bitch, I would be bitter. I'm bitter boots. <laughs> now we all, bitch. Now we all. I'm still not you still you in it, so she, you don't count. <laughs> but baby, let me tell you something. When you look at the winners, most of them ain't memorable. So I'm not bitter for being a, not being a winner. 
I done done paid. True. Well, don't be uh, don't be speaking that over no women's because bitch, I'm very memorable. Wait, wait, time out. Time out. So Time out. Gonna, Let me rephrase this. Oh, wait. Did you just say you won the show? <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. Oh, wait. Girl, what show what I'm, I want? That's what I'm going for. I'm going Period. for the world, so. And my sister, Roger. But you know what? I feel like, so Roger, you are definitely one of the, the memorable queens. Memorable. But you know what it is? Even though when, like, we all kind of have, I mean, all three of us have made some controversial comments on Drag Race that has made us memorable. Even though if it was in a negative it light, be my controversial comments. It could be the way I walked in and pulled milk and cookies out my titty. That, that's made girl. Me I seriously you know, though, it's not like you titty pulling titty. out milk and cookies out of your titties, they're like the CDC should really stop that because you should not be having <laughs> fucking milk coming out of your titties like that. Bitch, where did you come out? It's a glass. People don't ever realize that the bitch pulled out a real glass out of her titty. It was a real glass. It wasn't even plastic. That's why I was like, how did that shit stay up there this whole time? Because yeah. I'm a bad bitch. And two cookies, not just one. She had a whole tray of cookies, bitch. She two cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Silky's titties are so big that she could, you know. Well, I just want to go on the bed for my sister, Roger, for the win. That's who I'm rooting for all the way. Because if it ain't me, it got to be my sisters, you know? Okay. And let me tell you something about my sisters. My sisters turns up. My sister came back. And uh, my sister did what she needed to do. Okay. And she hey. Yeah, I would, like, seriously, Raja, like, you're, like, every time somebody asks me, they're, like, who were you the most surprised of? I was, like, fucking Raja. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she only surprised because like, she wasn't there season 11. Well, no, because, I mean, it is because of season 11, because of how Raja was portrayed on the show, mm -hmm. I was expecting a different kind of person. And the person who I ended up meeting, like, who walked through those doors was completely different from who I was expecting. You know what I mean? And I was just, I was like, it was a beautiful surprise, because I really like getting to know Raja and Akaria. I already met you, Silky, so I already knew you were going to be a fucking dick pig. But, like, <laughs> Raja and, like, Akira getting to know them filming, it was, like, so much more fun. Like, I was like, okay. And, like, Raja was very, like, I will say this. Raja and Trinity was very, like, um, not... Uh, they were very comforting as far as they're like, you you got this. You can just keep on going, bitch. Keep on going. Try to make something jiggly. So I am ready when you <laughs> If it works. It was really nice. I really appreciate that, Roger. Thank you so much for being like, you know. Uh -huh. You're not real you know, real Roger. Uh, you know, we gave, we gave Jiggly all that advice and she didn't take none of it. She was like, you know what? I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to just throw some stuff on this. Cause I was like, I don't know what else to do. I was just like, I was, and then I'm like, so watching you sew that fucking chair and make a dress out of a chair. I was like, bitch. I was just killing myself. I'm like, I am going home today. I was like, this fucking. I was like, these sewing challenges are the death of me. Okay. Damn. But Raja, seriously, I was. That was. It was beautiful. That jacket. I still want me an outfit from Raja. I got you, girl. I got you. I told you. I pay you. good money, bitch. I may not know how to sew, but I will pay good money for a good outfit, bitch. Okay, and you know, since I'm on drag race, bitch, the price just went up. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, uh, Bianca made me a dress once, and I was like, but like the way she cut it, it was like for like Lady Bunny. I was like, girl. I can't wear this. <laughs> okay. Because we were in a, we had a, a cat's show called Hot Mess a while, a while back. It was all like it was me, Lady Bunny. Damn, so you've been Milan. Bianca was the, the um was the host and then we had Sugar Pie Coco. It was a fun group though. Okay. Damn, Jiggly, you've been a hot mess. Uh-huh, been a hot mess. Stay a hot mess. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys. So I hooked up with this guy on Sunday. <laughs> Bitch. 
How was it? I think he recorded me. Oh, only fans coming soon. Girl, I'm kind of gagged because I like, like, yeah, yeah. I, now, how do you think he recorded you? Like, what makes you think he recorded you? The way he had his phone. He had his phone while y'all was having y'all session. Oh yeah, he was. He had recording. he had his phone like on the, like the nightstand. He said it was just charging, but the uh, way the position was, I was like, "Oh, uh, girl." Let me tell you something, Jiggly. That's why if they ever come to my room, you have to give me your phone. I put it in the dresser with a pillow on top. Okay. I need you to start doing. It wasn't so. It wasn't my hotel room, sis. It was his house. You could have knocked it over. Okay. Period. I should have, but I mean, if hey, you know what? It does. It did wonders for Kim Kardashian. Maybe it'll do wonders for me. Ooh, but you know, Kim. K Shut was up. Shaped. Kim K was shaped. You. Hey, the circle is a shape, Raja. <laughs> Shut your ass up. <laughs> Whatever, Silky. At least I wasn't just laying there. Well, first of all, you did uh, more than I would have done because guess what? It, I wouldn't done that. Silky, right. you don't even... I can't. Silky talks about how she wants to meet a boy, play with a boy, but then don't want to do nothing but just lay there. Okay. That's not how it works, sis. You got to throw it back. You got to suck a dick. You got to do stuff. Want to say hello? Watch her be with her family again, and I'm just talking all this shit and her mama right there. <laughs> Okay. She, this isn't oh, the first time she's done this to me, bitch. Oh my god, the last time she did that, she had her mom in like next to her, and I was talking all this shit. Hi. Hey. Oh, at least that's not her mama. <laughs> Thank you for your services, unless you uh, over there appropriating. <laughs> uh, no, that's a real uh, uniform. I said, thank you for your service, unless you over there. Yeah, thank you for oh, your yeah, services. Thank you for your service, unless you over there appropriate. <laughs> nah, she in the military for real. Work. Okay. Well, y'all, I love y'all, but I gotta go because the camera has come out and it's time. It's been oh, charged. Oh, oh, here we go. Glue that lace down, bitch. Glue it down. No, I'm not. This but you know what I will do? I'll fix it. There you go. Okay. Because you know I definitely ain't gluing nothing to me because I got a few looks I'm going to do tonight. Okay. See, well, why does she look, never glue her wig say. down? The same way you the same way you didn't sew them stitches down. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I love y'all. Good night. I'm just good love night. you, Raja. I love you, Silky. Love you, I love you. Congratulations, you Raja, on the Diana Ross thing again. Make Thanks. sure y'all follow Jiggly, Raja, and me if you don't already, because I know people came right. from this walks of life. Yep. So, let's love y'all. Okay. Right, and don't forget, I need to get to come back. Okay. All right. Love y'all.